Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Oral Roberts Golden Eagles and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Number one is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. I've never seen a young man create so much havoc at both ends of the floor, Brad. He's an offensive mastermind, and he's not afraid to dig in and play some tough defense. The Cowboys will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Cowboys should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. Number one, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Third, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Frank receives the pass with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Frank picks up the foul. First personal foul. He shoots from long range. He gets it to go. He gets that one to throw. Watch here. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. He can't shake the pressure. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important, just 15 to 17 feet apart. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Obvious foul. He's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to go inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. Hammers it down. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's take another look. Up and 
right side. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Unloads. Holland was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Now he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Receives the ball, looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at this effort! Looking for a good shot. the baseline they'll bring it out on top he fires away goes in on the outside looking for contact he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score our three-prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline he makes a nice shot fake he shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. They look to get it to the inside. Controlling the ball. Jumps into the defender. That's a nice looking play right here. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket. Taking advantage of a slow post play. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Dumps it in. Hopkins draws the personal. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. That pack, they're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Number 21 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. Is it takes the board? They need to get out and run their lanes now. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's one of the best parts of college basketball the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. From right in the circle, he gets it to fall. Teague handles the pass. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Top of the key. Way off target. From left of the circle, he drains the bucket. On the outside, Hopkins is emotionally fired up. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. He intercepts it. Working around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Oh, 
High post screen. So effective, that screen. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He blocks the shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Moss pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. With the free throw. Makes the first. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. From beyond the arc, got it. Cue the rewind button, boys. Post defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He comes away with it, leans in, and he scores despite the hack. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Fakes a jumper, got the high pick. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The Golden Eagles have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a the court. There's the trap. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Takes it off, and both teams looking to get things going here. Up and inside. T handles the feed. Kicks it out. That's basic. The skip pass is picked off. Defense got it after knocking it loose. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. at a three. That's good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Play Brad. They work it around the arc. 
Pump fakes. He's got an open look for the shot. Shoots from outside. Scorches the net. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. They're going to move it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Tries a three. Way off target. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Holland steps to the line for the first time. Gets it. Second shot is no good. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Jumps in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have great post play. You got a chance really to win. From the top of the circle. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Taken away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket, and he missed. The basket catch for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potato stick? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. Cashed it in. Oh, the pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays it there. He gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to draw the foul. Oklahoma State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. 
I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Dick, they're ripping up the mess tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Picks off the lazy pass. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. In and out. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Hinton makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits that one. Both free throws go. Is that push on that basketball? Looking for a good shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the free throw line. Hits the first. on that free throw line and that's major. Dump it inside. In the paint. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. On the outside. Look at that space up. Tight D here. Steals a pass. There's a high screen. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Moving it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. 
Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. And a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. From right in the circle, off the rim, and no good. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Drops the bucket despite the harm. There's the trap. Got an open look if he wants it. After one half of play, these teams are all knotted up. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. Oklahoma State displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Dickey still applied great pressure on the dribble. Boy, it's all help and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And it's stolen away. There's a steal. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Up and inside. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. He up fakes. Double team now, bad angle. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Let's watch the defense down on the road block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a double team. Fires away. Questionable shot selection there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Picked out of the air. Up fake. Here's a flash from the post up high. From three-point territory. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper.
The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He's going nowhere. Oh, Ball no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Intercepted. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extra peripheral stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For three. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. On the outside. Pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Robs him of the ball. Goes up for two. Drains it. That's a 12-0 run. A good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work the perimeter. There's the fake. From the top of the key. Way off target. spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards out there yeah that helps ball was tipped loose but the offense retains possession top of the circle they work it around the perimeter takes the shot off the rim and no good Oklahoma State had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key though they've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court that's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. We're going to move it around the perimeter for the bucket and off the mark. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. I have to see that one again. for contact. Hinton makes the finger roll. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And they get the turnover. The 
outside. Has a nice look at the basket. He fires it up. Way off target. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the keys to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. step behind the action. Reese fakes the shot. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Picked off. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away for two. He buries the shot. That's a 10 nothing run. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. around the arc. They work it around the perimeter. He goes for three. Tickles a twine. Take a look right here. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry. Had the real extension. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. From the top of the circle, he nails the trifecta. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Stolen ball. Full court pass. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say I'm a little surprised at how this one's turned it out. I definitely didn't expect this. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much money. What a facial on that one. That's a seven-zip run. He goes to the line for the first time. Count it. They scored eight in a row. A 
Well, Dick, you've said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X factor, and they have been that and so much more. Terry look from three-point land. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. From right at the circle, he hits it. the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from the air. <laughs> Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. The Golden Eagles have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Up it inside. Got the shot if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. Things are going well. It's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the win. On the outside, goes for the deep one. Oklahoma State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Fakes the shot. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He launches the bomb. Nice shot. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Steel go up the other way. Get a layup. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime. Little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. Frank is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, it's bringing him down. Good job defensively. And back they come the other way. Stolen. They're working around the perimeter in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Oklahoma State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. They're really starting to put an offense. Picks off the lazy pass. On the 
dribble, gives it up. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. On the inside. Double team now, bad angle. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Rod. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket, they still don't score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries to knock down the three. That was nice. There's the pick. There's the roll. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Tries to get the D to bite. With the jump hook. Otto, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. Takes it off him. On the outside, picked out of the air, gave it up. Play results in a backcourt violation. You have to take care of the rock, baby. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. He dials long distance. That's good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he'll kick it back outside. Moving it around the perimeter. They're working around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They're rocking right now. My goodness. They're working around the arc. In the paint. There's the trap. 
punches away. Goes. On the dribble, gives it up. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound to build. Wow, the screener is back to school on that pick. Working it around the perimeter. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The center takes the feed. He draws a foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. A couple of free ones. He misses the first. the second shot. And the ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable. Tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Oklahoma State takes a huge win by a large margin tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.